I love Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's life. I've been, I've been feeling lost, I've been feeling down, I've been feeling very gloomy, and I haven't really been feeling like myself. So if your ex-lover messaged you out of nowhere, it's either for different reasons. One of them mainly is because maybe they just want to talk some things out. The second one is that maybe they're returning your stuff. Or the third one, they just want to fuck. I, I don't know. Just, it could be any of the above. So going back to the topic, she sends me a message and she specifically said, how's life going? Question mark. And uh, I didn't reply, obviously we kind of had, we ended things at bad terms, but now she sends me that message. Um, and then, you know, I didn't know she had a Facebook, so I went ahead and I looked on her Facebook, making sure she's not a crazy ex and just, you know, what I find out, yeah, she is a crazy ex. So she has this doll. Okay, and that doll looks exactly like me. Okay, I'm gonna look at the picture right now. Just give me a second. Let me just uh, she has a doll with black hair And I'm gonna show you another picture with me when I actually have dark hair when I had my sides when my sides were long um, She has a doll with that. So well, actually it's not really t it's not really exactly a doll It's called a a point jaw uh, a ballpoint jaw ballpoint jaw. No, I think it's called a a uh, a ball joint doll. There you go. A BJD. It's like a community. Uh, they're very cute dolls. They're not like regular Barbie dolls. They're actually really expensive, as I heard. Uh, again, though, I apologize if like I'm not getting the correct terminology right. But anyway, so this is doll, and uh, I, I I take a look at it, and it kind of it looked like me. But you know, she's probably into guys with long hair. Um, that's it until I saw another picture about a month ago with that same doll but with a different wig, and that wig is brown. I dyed my hair brown. And if you think that maybe I'm over-exaggerating, maybe like, you know, there's some sort of like, um, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of coincidence, maybe, I don't, I don't, for, I don't know, if you're still not convinced that she's doing voodoo on me, okay, I'm gonna show you the authenticity I really hate using uh, big words, but the authenticity of the doll. So when you make a doll, you make, I guess, a birth certificate for the doll and you actually give it special characteristics or traits. But look, okay, I'm just gonna read you the description of this doll, okay? And you'll see that this is a mini Zig DeWitt, okay? I'm not even fucking kidding you, okay? So the authenticity uh, states with uh, the sex, okay? That's male, obviously, I'm male, okay? Build, thin, hello, I'm, I'm very thin. Um, height, tall, okay, well I'm about 5'10", so that's not really that tall, so um, I guess we'll skip that one. Eye color, honey, yes, my eye color is not, you know, dark brown, it's, it's not like poopy brown, it's just honey, it's like, ver it's a very light brown, very autumn-y brown kind of thing. It was the expiration of dyeing my hair. Um, and then the hair color, look at this, it's dark brown, okay, that's my natural hair color, it's so dark brown that it looks black. Alright, going more down the list. Sexuality. I have no idea if dolls had sexuality. I think like they match them, um, they match a dolls with like a, I, I, don't, I don't know, but anyways. Uh, sexuality. Straight. I'm completely straight. Um, and then I have no idea what, what, the, what a TOC is, and that's double F, I, and I'm, I'm probably just gonna ask, but I have no idea what that is. And then the DOC. Um, and then uh, I kind of was, uh, I was kind of questioning what a DOC was. DOC was. Um, and then, you know, it kind of hits me where it's the date of creation, which is like the day the doll was created. And it's really weird, like the whole doll building process is where you have to like get a ball, you get the doll, and then like, it, I think it comes with like just the body, you have to get up legs and then some arms, and you put it together, and then you, you know, you put, you put it together by joints, and then you buy wigs and you do the doll's makeup, or you pay somebody to do the doll's makeup, and you buy the actual eyes of the doll, which is pretty creepy itself. So yeah, the date of creation is checks out. It's March 9th, 2016. Now you guys are gonna be like, for those people who don't know me very personally, you're gonna be like, March 9th, 2016. Dude, you're not one years old, but check this out. My birthday is March 9th, okay? That is my birthday, March 9th. My, my eye is itching. The kingdom of the doll is southern. Now if you guys don't know where I live, I live in Texas, which is the most southern state in the United States. So, you know, if you're still not convinced, for whatever reason, you're still not convinced, the name of the doll is Zad, okay? Z-A-D. Now, you're probably thinking, like, so? It's, it's Zad. Your name's Z. It's totally different. But check this out. Z-A-D are my initials. So, uh, yeah. I just want to share that with you guys. This is pretty weird. You know, like and subscribe, okay? Because, you know, I just try to turn this negativity into a positivity.
I don't know how to end the video, okay? I, just, I guess I'm just gonna walk off camera because this is so weird.